Hey, what's up, people? It's Crap Gamer here, the Albino Rhino, with another video. Thank you all for checking this one out. I appreciate it. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button because I appreciate that as well. And make sure you check out my earlier video, uh, which talks about a major, major stuff uh, about the Xbox Scorpio, including the games that supposedly were demoed on Xbox Scorpio. These are the UWP games, meaning the uh, the games that Microsoft specifically, exclusively would be easier to format for native 4k 60 frames per second on what would be considered quote-unquote ultra settings uh, and then i did one earlier in the week about some third party games with one first party game included in there that were just patched up to do the native 4k 60 frames per second those were impressive well and then i got confirmation on those lists from two separate sources so pretty damn confident with those um amd vega um, benchmarks have apparently leaked and actually dealer gaming did a very good uh, video on this uh, today and he's much more inclined with this kind of stuff and this is one of the reasons why he's on Xbox Nation because he knows a lot about this kind of stuff but there is one thing a couple things that I know that I wanted to talk about a little bit because this stuff is all very like 4k demos and things like that and I think that that's important for the aspect of the Xbox Scorpio going forward when you have to look at what they're using. And we've heard now that possibly uh, that it's leaked out that the Xbox Scorpio GPU total will be 6.4 teflops. Uh, highly optimized to obviously do uh, native 4K gaming. And I know what some of you probably are thinking. And again, just even going back to dealer's own videos where he showed different um, games able to run at 4K natively on just under six teflops of power in a pc and there is a huge difference between pc power and what you're going to get from an optimized closed box environment like a console which doesn't have to do all the same things that uh you know a pc would have to do so that's all very interesting and then if you if this turns out to be true which by the way the closer we get to the the reveal of xbox scorpio the more and more information and more and more leaks are going to come out and i'm not ever a guy to say hey you know i'm right 100 percent of the time i'm not obviously but if i'm wrong then i am at the same time the funny thing is is whenever i see comments of people that accuse me of whatever and then they go oh well crap just uh made this up or he's lying about this right and then when that thing comes out to be true right um you're nowhere to be seen after that nobody ever goes and gives crap gamer props and says oh damn he was right you know good job you know i don't really see that i mean from the fans i see that but some of you haters out there you you know like for me i have no problems admitting hey if i was wrong hey xbox dropped the ball with this or they didn't win the npd that sucks i guessed wrong my bad see i'll do that all day and i think that's what kind of makes me dangerous on youtube is the fact that i have no problem doing that and the fact that I have no problems with being wrong or making a bold statement or a bold prediction. Uh, but whereas uh, Scorpio is concerned, you just keep hearing Vega, 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 Vega more and more. And that is impressive. Just from the plain fact that that's much better tech than some of the other stuff, especially what's in the pr with what's in the pro and things like that. We want the best of the best. You know, this thing is supposed to be mind blowing, face melting. We're supposed to see the difference. Look. If you're going to see a difference on a 1080p screen, if you're going to see a demonstrative difference, which is the quote from the head of Xbox, on uh, you know on these games, and he's saying don't buy till you actually see this difference because is that noticeable? Then that's enough for me, in my opinion. You know, I think that that is going to be very telling. And 6.4 teraflops, and then you look at the Pro, that's more than two teraflop difference. That's a 2.2 difference. Not to mention all the bandwidth difference you know the uh the memory bandwidth difference you got a huge contrast in in the abil uh, availability of the bandwidth there so that is very telling not only that but i guy i linked you guys a story yesterday with uh to windows central where they're talking about the super sampling and things like that uh you know i i talked to jez gordon like he's a uh, you know me and him have 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 known each other for a while and i actually had him on a podcast once and i've, I've done multiple podcasts with him very knowledgeable guy uh, he's got a lot of friends in the industry and things like that and he's working on more stuff you know what i mean and i have other people that have said hey microsoft is actually going to have a ton of these third-party games 
they're going to be running native 4k and these aren't going to be like the patch ones yes there's going to be some patch ones obviously i already did a video on that but these are going to be games that release around the scorpio time any game that is in the windows store that has 4k assets is going to be 4k on scorpio you can lock that in you know now it's just the waiting game and i wish microsoft would just come out and announce it and show this thing uh, even if they don't give a price or anything like that I just wish they would do it because we all know it's coming and we're just tired of waiting and it's all very exciting and I hear people message me all the time and they're just very excited about it and you know and I am too man that's why I keep on doing these videos man and hopefully you guys enjoy them but I will leave the benchmarking stuff in the link in the description so you guys can check it out uh, if you guys follow dealer gaming you can check him out as well he does an incredible video on this as well uh, going into much more detail about what it means but as far as my perspective it looks like the GPU 6.4 T flops very 4k native ready um, in this enclosed environment so let me know what you guys think rack them up crap gamer out yeah there's a lot going on right now